Hi Pisces, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs and it's going to be general so it's not going to resonate for all of you but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs or you can get a personal reading. All the information for personal readings is in the description box. Alright, so let's, let's see what's going on with Pisces for the first half of April. And do keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Even if you are cross-watching. All right, so let's see. Pisces, first half of April. All right, we have balancing the scales and barrier. Okay, so it feels like there has been a very strong barrier actually in this in this connection between you and another person, but there's something here that is coming into balance or I feel like either you or the other person is really trying to balance out whatever this barrier has been, trying to resolve it in other words. Let's see. Barrier could be um, something completely different for each of you. So it doesn't matter what it is. <coughs> we will see what wants to come through for the energy surrounding it. All right, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of April. All right, so for the situation, we have the Five of Wands crossed by the Six of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of conflict here. All right, with that Five of Wands, it could even be that there's an issue here when it um, involving other people. Um, possibly it's other people that are the barrier, we'll see. And this is what is preventing this a reconnecting, a reconnection to happen here between the two of you. Um, however, I'm definitely feeling like there is a strong connection here with the Six of Cups. There is this essence of wanting to come back together, wanting to reunite, wanting to be together. But there's this conflict here, which is preventing that from happening or just making it more difficult. Let's see, recent past, we have the chariot. In the near future, we have the seven of swords. I'm going to clarify this chariot and see what, that, what that's about, because it feels like there was either something very, very impulsive here. Um, somebody just... I, I'm getting it as taking some action that may have caused things to spiral out of control afterwards. But we'll see. Um, with the Eight of Swords being in the immediate future, yeah, it could be that somebody is very, very fearful still. Let's see, for you we have the Ten of Cups, for them the Page of Wands. More about you is the Sun. For them we have Death. And for potential outcome here, we have the Emperor, which is very, very positive. All right, you have the Ten of Cups and the Sun. Wow. So you're definitely feeling a lot of emotions for this person. You're, this is something I feel that you would really, really want. Um, you feel like this person completes you, fulfills you. Um, you want to find happiness with this person, even if you don't feel like there's that happiness at the moment. Um, for them, the Page of Wands and Death, I feel like they're, they're undergoing a major transformation here. It could even be that there's something that is ending, um, that they're putting an end to in their lives, uh, but I feel like possibly for from the past and even a little bit in the time being, I feel like there may have been some immaturity from their end. And again, I feel like there is um, some involvement here with other people. I don't know if it's um, another relationship necessarily. I just see it as, I'm seeing it more and more as external influence, which is that barrier. It could be what they're putting an end to. We'll see when we clarify. However, we do have the Emperor finishing off the reading, which again, it, it shows that somebody is really taking control here and standing their ground is the way I'm seeing it. So let's start clarifying. So 
So just a little reminder, if you are cross-watching for somebody who is a Pisces, this other person that we talk about, it doesn't, it's not necessarily you. It could be you, but if they're involved with someone else, um, which I do feel it might be the case for some of you, this could be the other person um, that they're involved with. So just take the messages as they resonate, and if it's not your reading, it's not your reading. All right, so let's clarify the Five of Wands with the Six of Cups. All right, we have the Ten of Swords, Death again, ooh, and Temperance. All right, yeah, there's, I feel like there's definitely something that's ending here. It's either, I feel like, I feel like it's something that has caused a lot of pain for someone here, whoever this is. Um, I do feel like it's involving other people. I feel like it's something that has been very, very painful. They may have even feel, um, felt deceived by these other people um, or person. And it's something that is done. It's like it has run its course. And what's left right now is to really heal from that and to possibly even, you know, finalize an ending here. That's the, that's the energy I'm getting. It's a matter of actually finalizing that ending, but in a way that's going to also be, um, that's going to bring forth healing because I feel like uh, this person has not healed yet from whatever the situation is. Um, and I feel like that is what is um, serving as a barrier here. But again, I feel like the direction that it's moving in is pretty positive when we have balancing the scales as our um, overall energy card. Let me see the chariot in the recent past. The Ace of Cups, the World, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you know, it feels like there, that there was, as I said, an impulsive action taken. I feel like it's mostly going to be, um, From your person there was an action taken that really brought about some kind of an ending or it felt like there was some kind of a conclusion to a powerful connection to to love with someone and i feel like that was you something that they really wanted so yeah there was an action that was taken that pretty much spiraled out of control from there on causing them to just really um it caused the situation to just take a turn in a different type of a direction. It, it, it's, it's almost as if they closed the door to love is the way it's coming through. Um, and now, if it's, if it's your person, now they're dealing with um, another type of an ending here. It could even be the same one. If there, if there isn't other people involved here, all right, uh, for your person, then this is just the conflict that they feel with you. All right, and I feel like, yeah, they shut the door. They shut that door, but now they're feeling the pain of that. And it's like, like I said, there's something here that needs to end, but in a healing way. And it doesn't necessarily mean the connection with you. It could be, it's that conflict, whatever it is. And for some of you, it's just, it just happens that this is going to be um, another relationship, other people. And then for others of you, it's going to be just the conflict between um, between the two of you. A lot of pain was caused by this, and yeah, there's there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. All right, um, from from their own doing is the way that it's coming through. Actually, it's from their own doing. Um, let me clarify the ten of cups for you. Ten of Cups again. The Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands. All right, also, let me just remind you that, yeah, because the rules can be reversed um, and they can overlap, it could be that this past energy that I've been talking about, it could be you, okay? Or your person if, you, if, it, if the rules are reversed. Yeah, so whoever this is up here, you're really feeling that love. I mean, it, the Ten of Cups coming up twice, it's... 
it's it, I don't think it can be stronger than that. That's how it's coming through to me. There's a lot of action that you would want to take or there's a lot of um, things possibly that you would want to tell this person. And I feel like you're really thinking about that. You're really thinking about having some kind of a conversation with them. Um, I don't, I actually don't feel like you're taking much action to communicate with them. I feel like you have that desire very, very strongly, but you might be, you might kind of still be um, hesitating. Or if you do, I feel like you're going to go about it or you're going about it in a very subtle way. Um, possibly trying to just kind of crack that door open just a little bit and see if, you know, if it can or cannot be open. Let's see the sun. The Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. Yeah, so there's... Again, I feel like you're you're wanting to listen to your intuition as to possibly whether you, you want to communicate with them or not. Um, I do feel like you're feeling very confident, though, at the same time about it. So I don't know why it is you're... Hmm. I, I mean, I just can't help but feel like you're holding back um, from doing it. You're enthusiastic about it. I feel like you're just kind of possibly taking your time with it. See what's going on with them. Let me see the pages, page of wands. The lovers and the knight of wands. Yeah, so I do I do get the sense that <laughs> this person may be a little bit inconsistent um, in certain ways. And I do get a little bit of immaturity, but it's coming through mostly as um, just not really being sure of themselves. Definitely they're feeling that love just as you are, all right? With they have, did I say the lovers? It's the two of cups, which is very similar anyway. Um, they're definitely feeling that love for you as well, just as you're feeling it for them. But I feel like they too have this stance of not going full force at it. Um, and again, it could be because of that barrier, because they're dealing with something that is so painful and trying to finalize something here. Which again, could be that conflict within themselves. Let's see death. The Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Whatever it is that they're trying to put an end to or trying to finalize, I feel like, yeah, they're taking a little bit of time. Um, it's taking them a little bit of time because they, it could be that they, they, they're waiting for something. They're waiting for something before they can actually finalize whatever that conflict is. And I feel like once they do that, though, they're really working on coming coming in towards you here with that Knight of Cups. Um, but again, they're, wait they're also waiting for this to finish, to close out before they can, before they can come forward. So I don't know what that is, but um, some kind of conflict, something that is conflicting them a lot, and that is what is preventing them from being able to um, come back in. Because I do feel like there has been some kind of some kind of a separation here, or just something keeping the two of you at some kind of a distance. Let's see the Eight of Swords. The Six of Wands, the Five of Wands again, and the Eight of Cups. 
Yeah, so again, it's coming through that it is taking a little bit of time because this is in the, um, this is in the near future here. Right, and we have that Five of Wands showing up again. So whatever that situation is, whatever that conflict is that is preventing a reuniting of the two of you, it's like it's still showing up and it does create some, some anxiety or some fear for this person. However, I do see them working on it. That's the positive thing because we do have the Eight of Cups and we also have the Six of Wands. So there is something that they are detaching themselves from. And I do feel like they're going to they're doing it in a way which is going to bring them victory. Like it will be successful. But I feel like it's a process. It's a process. Whatever this barrier is, and I think I said that in the beginning as well. I feel like it's very powerful, whatever that is. It's something that is very, very difficult for them to actually um, find a resolution for or to balance out. But there is a sense of them detaching themselves from that in a successful way. Slowly but surely. Um, and maybe this is the reason why you're holding back from communicating with them as well. So let me see the emperor. Ten of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Star. There, you know, I, I totally see this as your person. They're going to take control over the situation. They're going to stand strong. I almost feel like, you know, they need to put their foot down and they need to release whatever this burden is of that conflict, that five of wands, um, whatever energy that is, which I, again, could be other people here. I do see them really um, moving in the direction of doing something about it. But again, it feels like it's, it's not going to be easy. It's something that is very much a struggle for them. However, there's also healing, okay, that is coming up here. There's healing and I feel like just new potentials are opening for this person um, as soon as they are able to really stand in their power, okay, which is a very strong potential here. And it's like, you know, once that happens, once that healing occurs, it's like just so many doors open up for them. And I don't mean so many doors as in, you know, um, like a whole bunch of partners to choose from. No, that's not at all how I'm seeing it. It's just a lot of potentials, a lot of opportunities for, for different things. Um, even for just something creative, a creative project that they want to do, um, a change that they want to make in their environment or surroundings. Um, of course, love, a connection. So the final oracle message for you is journey by moonlight, believe in magic. So yeah, you know, I'm getting that this, this journey can be a little bit difficult. It can, there can be a lot of mysteries, all right? A lot of things that feel hidden from you, all right? Um, not being sure about certain things, but you're being called to believe in magic here, all right? And that everything will work out for your highest good. All right, Pisces, thank you so much for watching. Much love.